The Entrepreneur's Library, episode 162. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Library, the only book-centric podcast that reviews all the top-selling business books and shares authors' perspective firsthand. This is your resource to finding the next great book that will enable you to grow personally and professionally. Welcome your host, Wade Danielson. Welcome back to the EL. Today we have Tiffany Alicia, author of Live Richer Challenge. Learn how to budget, save, get out of debt, improve credit, and invest in 36 days. Welcome, Tiffany, and thank you for joining us on the Entrepreneur's Library. Hey, Wade. Thank you for having me. Definitely. Before we take a deep dive into your book, will you take just a moment to introduce yourself and tell us just a little bit about you personally? Sure. Well, my name is Tiffany, but I am much better known as the Budget Nista. And I am a financial educator. Um, I like to say that I'm America's favorite financial educator. At least I'm striving to be. Um, I started the Budget Easter brand about four or five years ago, and it has grown into just this amazing movement, um, especially as it relates to women and empowering them to master their money. So before we take, thank you for sharing that first off, but before we dive into your your newest book, which is Live, uh, I'm sorry, Live Richer Challenge, right? Mm-hmm. You actually had one, uh, the one week budget. Yes, I did. And it looked like that was, that was very successful, um, from, from what I've seen on, on Amazon. So was that one of the books that helped you launch that brand? Yes, definitely. So the one week budget actually hit number one on Amazon, um, several times. Oh, wow. Um, and I self published and before I started teaching financial education, I was actually a school teacher and the one week budget came from me teaching the parents how to master their money, uh, because I was just always good at at managing my money. My father was a CFO and an accountant, and we'd have like weekly money lessons. And I thought that was totally normal as a kid. I was like, well, what do you do Thursday nights? You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and so as a result, people just kept asking me. So I created this notebook that I would write down the steps in. And during the height of the recession, my school, which was a nonprofit based school, closed its doors due to lack of funding. And I thought, well, I have this notebook. I've been teaching financial education. Maybe I can make a go of this and make this my new full-time job. And so I did. Wow, what a great story. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. So let's jump right into your book now. Live Richer Challenge. Yes. Learn how to budget, save, get out of debt, improve your credit, and invest in 36 days. Yes. That's a pretty fantastic <laughs> <laughs> subtitle. That's, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, which came out not that long ago, actually December of 2014. And Tiffany, we're going to move quickly. Mm-hmm. But we're here to cover the top question that our listener slash future re- reader would like to get answered. And the first one is, what was the inspiration behind writing Live Richer Challenge? Well, the inspiration behind writing the Live Richer Challenge was really the challenge itself. So outside of the book, the Live Richer Challenge is a financial challenge that I started to help 10,000 women master their money in 36 days. Um, About this time last year, so many women were reaching out to me via social media and my inbox asking for financial help. And I thought, how can I help the maximum amount of women in the most efficient way possible? So I designed an online financial challenge that uh, just started January 5th. And as a result of the challenge, I said I should make a corresponding book. And we have our t- we have w- over 10,000 women mm-hmm. in 49 of the 50 states participating. And in countries like Japan, China, Australia, Singapore, um, Jamaica, Turks and Caicos, the Middle East, all over the world participating in this challenge. And the book is the companion piece to that challenge. Very good. So what would you say, you know, we always talk about how the, the, the busy entrepreneur is inundated with so many different books. And so what makes your book different from others regarding the same or similar topic? Well, what makes my book different is that one, sometimes you read these financial books and you think to yourself, I have to have, you know, a master's degree in finance just to understand what they're saying, that the fact that I have a teaching background and I was a school teacher, I can take complex things and break them down to really simple, easy to understand steps. So that's like one of my gifts is that, and and I get that over and over from people who work with me to some of the people who follow me on social media. It's always, oh my gosh, Tiffany, I never heard it broken down this way. So that's one thing you're going to get with the book. But even better is that with this book, there's a built-in community. So I have this online forum that I created to help the women help each other. 
And so when you get the book, I direct you to all of these online resources. And one of them is a forum. And about uh, 7,400 women are there, thousands of them, 24 hours a day, helping each other through these financial tasks in the book. So you don't get that with any other book, like a built-in accountability of thousands of women. Excellent. And this next question is a little bit more on the format of the book. How did you how did you design it or how do you suggest the reader engage with your book? Is this one they can jump in and jump out, uh, cherry picking information as needed? Or was it really designed to be read from front to back? So I did both. So as a teacher, I'm always thinking of everyone's a different type of learner. So I made sure that if you read the book from beginning to end, it totally built on each other. But there might be sections of the book that don't apply to you. There's a section about debt and you might be debt free. So you could skip over it and not feel like you skipped the major section. Okay, perfect. So Tiffany, now that we know a little bit of the background, the purpose behind the book, let's take a deep dive into the content itself. So we take the next five to eight minutes and, and really... Here's the whole point of this question is to break down for the future reader what they what they can get out of your book. So we take the next couple of minutes and do that for us. Sure, of course. Thank you. So the way the Live Richer Challenge works is this: that I have broken down seven specific financial goals into five weeks. So week one is money mindset. Week two is budgeting and savings. Week three is debt. Week four is credit. Week five is insurance and investing. And then I add an extra day there to talk about what live richer really means and how to take all of these lessons to live a richer life. And I've broken down the book to make it really simple. Um, If you remember the story of Hansel and Gretel, how they were, I think like they were breadcrumbed to whatever that magic candy house where they like met the witch or whatever. But if if you remember that story, that the same thing here, I'm gonna breadcrumb you to financial success. And you don't have to know how to budget. You don't have to know how to really do anything because the way the challenge works is every day I give you one small breadcrumb, one small, easy financial task. And collectively, that task will help you accomplish that week's goal. So if it's budgeting and savings week, you know, you you do day one's task, which might just be just list everything you spend money on. Day, day two's task, day three. And by the time you reach day four, seven, you realize, wait, I have a budgeting plan and I have a savings plan. How did I get here? And so I really try to take away um, what keeps people from moving forward financially, which is fear and shame. So the fear of not knowing what to do, you don't need to. If you can read and write, then you can do the challenge. And the shame, that's why I created the online form in conjunction with the book, because there you will see there are literally thousands of women with the same issues, just like you, um, and attacking them and they found solutions and they're there to help you. So those are the two things I really try to focus on with the book. And it's a fun, easy read. I don't try to talk over your head. I use basic language. And within 36 days, you really can have a different money mindset. Finally, a budget that works, a savings plan where you're actually saving, a clear get out of debt plan that you can automate, a credit plan that will show you how to make your credit score jump like Jordan I know people are all into LeBron now, but I love Jordan. That's who I grew up with. (laughs) (laughs) Me too. (laughs) And two, like a basic investing plan, just how to start investing and really how to adjust your insurance. insurance. Because as we get older, you know, we really have to start thinking about our insurance more. And even bigger than all of that, the Live Richer Day, really talking about um, abundance and how do you activate your more abundant life using all of these things you learned as a tool? Because it's more than money. Really, it's a movement. What is it that you want as a result of mastering your money? And that's what we try to figure out on the last day. And that's how the book is really broken down. Excellent. So thank you for taking us through that. And this next one, this next question is going to hopefully, you know, really break it down or take it a step further. I mean, obviously, even from the subtitle, you know, talking about how to budget, save, get out of debt, improve credit and invest. So if the reader can only take away one concept, principle or action item out of your entire book, everything you just discussed, what would you want that to be? I would want that to be to get started. To me, that is the number one thing that keeps people from really achieving anything in life. They don't get started. You think, so I live in Jersey and one of my best friends lives in California. And so imagine if I said to myself, I'm in a car, oh, I don't want to drive to California because my headlights don't shine that far because I want to see the whole journey the whole way. So I'm not going to get up. I'm not going to leave my house. 
But that's not the way life works, that if I get in the car, my headlights might shine eight feet, six feet in front of the car. And the further I move, the more I see. And so I have to get in the car and get started. And eventually I'll get to California. So the same thing with your finances, that yes, you might see to, say to yourself, you know what, there's no way I can get all the way to being debt free. I can't see the path. You don't have to see the path. All you have to see is the next six feet in front of you, the next day or the next week. What does that look like? And once you move toward that next day or that next week, the next days and weeks will reveal themselves to you. But they'll never reveal themselves if you never get in the car and you never get started. Mm. That, that's a really powerful example you use there at the beginning because that it, uh, it's so true. We don't we don't ask to see the whole route. Uh, in that case that you said, you know, before we get started, however, we do, you know, with finances or other projects. So that is, or starting a business, you know, that, that is fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Tiffany, do you have a favorite quote from your book and will you, uh, will you explain what it means to you? Um, probably my favorite quote would be that it's more than money. It's a movement that I think so many of us lose focus and make money the goal. But truthfully, money is not the goal. It's just a piece of paper or a piece of metal. What is it? What is the thing that's motivating you to to get money? You know, is it that you want freedom? Is it adventure? Is it travel? Is it more time with your family? You know, what is that thing? And so reminding yourself that it's really more than money. Money is merely one of the tools to achieve whatever your life's goals are. So really more than money, it's a movement. What is that that you really want? And focusing on that, because you might find you don't need as much money as you, as you think. Hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's huge. We'll, we'll put that, uh, that quote in the, in the show notes, the EL podcast.com. So those that are, uh, Tiffany are, because they're entrepreneurs that, that, that are mainly listening, mm-hmm. um, they're extremely mobile. We've seen that 75, 76% of those listening uh, are actually, you know, walking on a treadmill right now or in their car. And so if they want to reflect on that more, they can go visit the website and and take a look. So uh, our last question, obviously, we're a book centric podcast. We always talk about it's about 95% about the book, 5% about the author. And so it wouldn't be if I didn't ask you a book question. Mm-hmm. And so if there was only one book you could recommend based on the way that's impacted your life really created a paradigm or a lifestyle shift for you, uh, what book would you recommend? That hands down, The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. Mm-hmm. That book is, if you are what I like to call a dream catcher, and if you're an entrepreneur, by definition, you are a dream catcher, someone who has taken the leap to take hold of their dreams and make them reality. So if you are a dream catcher, then you need to read The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. It's a fiction book, but it speaks to the entrepreneur spirit. It speaks to the the spirit of a dream catcher in that the book is about a young boy who um, is having this reoccurring dream and um, the journey it takes to get to that dream. And through reading the book, you start to understand really the way life really works and that the book really reveals that the journey and the dream are one of the same. Because so many of us want to be like on Oprah level, for example. Mm. But there's no way that Oprah was ready to be on Oprah level when she was starting in Chicago on like a local uh, TV, local access TV. She wasn't ready for that. And so, so many entrepreneurs I see, they want to jump ahead of themselves. But it's like there are all these lessons you have to learn before you're even ready to be yourself in 10 years. You know, and so the alchemist really helps to um, helps you to wrap your mind around it. It's so beautifully written, but it's that book really shifted the way I looked at the way I grew my business, that I wasn't so much in a rush to get there because the, the road as well as the destination, they were equally as important. So I have to be on this road. I had to make that mistake with this designer. So that way I chose the next designer for this book. I had to, you know, my first book, I didn't use an editor and people were ripping me on Amazon like, oh, there's a misspelling here and made me realize, okay, my next book, I didn't even realize you had to get an editor because I was self-published. So Mm. all of the mistakes that you make are intentional and they need to be made for you to be better. So yeah, I just love that book, The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. I think everybody who's chasing a dream should read it. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree with you. What a, what a powerful book. Um, and I can't talk about it without ruining it. So I, I don't even, I don't even like, I, I just tell people it's a phenomenal book and, and to pick it up. So you did a way better job than, uh, than I do. I, th- I think it's some people I've, I've started to talk about the book and, and, you know, 
and I, I think I've ruined it for them. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, great recommendation. And Tiffany, before we depart, can you recommend the best way for listeners to not only get more information on you, but also your book, Live Richer Challenge? Yes. So you can find me at The Budget Nista. So like Fashionista, but budget. B T H E B U D G E T Nista N I S T A um, dot com. And the Live Richer Challenge is currently on Amazon. And you can pick it up there as well as my previous book, The One Week Budget. And I hope to see you um, in the Live Richer form if you do need a little bit of help in it and encouragement and support um, as it relates to your personal finance. Excellent. Well, Tiffany, thank you so much for coming on and sharing your book with us. Thank you for having me, Wade. I had a great time. Thanks again for listening in today. If you'd like more information on Tiffany or her book, Live Richer Challenge, just visit the show notes at the elpodcast.com. Looking for your next book idea? Head over to the elpodcast.com, where Wade shares his amazing resource, the top 10 business books recommended by over 500 entrepreneurs with you for free. That's the elpodcast.com. Till the next time, keep it on the EL.